It's all fine, Chuck. Boomer just met Salty Saul. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you, Boomer. Uh, same here, Mr. Saul. Uh, Mr. Salty? Um, sir? Is Salty Saul a pirate, Chuck? Nah, he hauls boats to the coast. He always has the most amazing stories about the sea. Thanks, Porter. The tarp came in handy for that boat haul, so it did. It was raining very hard. Was it a safe boat launch? It was a fine launch, but I don't know how she'll fare, what with the monster waves and all. How high were the waves? The waves were high. Higher than ten trucks, so they were in that ocean blue. to stay, but I have to go and pick up a yacht that I do. It has big plans to sail around the world. That's part of why I like boats. It takes big dreams and a big imagination to be a sailor. Whoa. Bye, Salty Soul. Bye, Salty Soul. Bye, Mr. Salty. Let's build our own boat and go sailing on the high seas. Yeah. Uh, not too high, okay? <laughs> All right! <laughs> okay, my salty crew, I'm Captain Chuck, and we're going to sail the high seas, discover new lands, and have lots of adventures! <laughs> well, carve my treads and call me groovy. I want to find a land with lots of space and hills to race on. Do you think we'll see some sea monsters? Some nice ones, maybe? Oh, I hope I don't get seasick. One thing's for sure. Nothing's gonna happen unless we do one thing. What's that? Build a boat. <laughs> You're right. Let's find things in the parts yard that can make a ship. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! Boats, boats, boats. Hmm. Yes! Nice one! Thanks! It'll steer our boat! One sail coming right up! Oh! 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 This can be the part of the boat we stand on! Help, amigo? I sure do. Now that's handy. I can't wait to show everyone. <gasps> Close one. Wow. Oh. Oh. 
That's the best boat I've ever seen. See. There's something missing. That's great, Biggs. Just what our boat needed. Hmm. It needs something else. Some horns? No, a name. The SS Hubcap? How about the Jolly Scooper? Or the Rusty Tub? I've got it! Salty Saul told me once that all boats are named after women. Let's call our boat the Mom. Muy excelente! All aboard! Shouldn't our boat be moving? We need water to make an ocean blue, so our boat can set sail. If you want water, then step back. We'll be sailing on the ocean blue in no time. Thanks, Boomer. Okay, crew, what do we yell when we spot new land? Um, hey, there's some new land. <laughs> no, sailors say, land ho! Hey, is that new land up ahead? Land ho! <laughs> Captain Chuck, we're still not moving. But I sprayed a lot of water. I guess since the ground is flat and there's nothing to hold the water, it just ran off. Then we need something to hold the water. And I know what to do. What? We need to dig a big pit to hold our ocean blue. Then what are we waiting for? Let's dig. That's a great pit. All that's missing is our boat. And a lot of water. Stand back. Come on, crew. Let's get the boat into the pit. Ugh, all done. I can help. I think I should be first. Okay, but I'm second. I'm third. Um, should the boat tip like that? Well, fill my bed and call me hefty. The boat must be too heavy. The mom is sinking, and we haven't even sailed her yet. We can't let her sink. <laughs> I need some backup crew. Aye, aye. But our boat won't work in real water. What about fake water? There's no such thing. That's a great idea, Handy. I know where to get some fake water. Whoa there, Chuck. Sorry, Dad. We can't use water, but we have a boat and... Can we borrow that? I'm not sure I understand why you need it, but sure. Thanks, Dad. Once we get her sailing, you can come aboard. Yes, you too, Gunter. I've got our ocean blue. But that's just a plastic sheet. I'll show you. Pretend it's our ocean blue. Ahoy, mateys! It looks like our boat is setting sail without us. We just have to imagine the ocean blue. Like when we play police cars and getaway cars, we're not really police cars, we just pretend. Let's pretend our boat is sailing on a real ocean blue. Oh, uh, can we pretend our boat can fly? Sure. Can it be a tool boat that fixes other boats? Why not? It can do anything we imagine. I imagine this boat is a submarine. Red hot turbochargers. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Woohoo! Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Steering a boat is a lot of work. I've been 
think I'll cool off with the swim in the ocean. Splash! Come on in, the water's fine. Ay caramba! Close my hood and call me dripping. I'm diving in. Wahoo! Splash! Watch out for the water spout. Over, around, and through. Trucks go and see and do. <laughs> Gunter, I'm moving on to delivery truck four. Can you close two and three and direct them out so five and six can pull up for loading? Whoops, I thought you were ready for loading. <laughs> what are all the boxes, Dad? And where are they going? There's an awful lot of them. There sure are. These boxes contain the newest flex handle ratchet, and they're being delivered all over the world. That sounds like a lot of places. Hey, when a company makes something that everybody wants, well, everybody wants one. Yeah. It must be some kind of record. Every single truck on the planet placed an order with us. Vamos, everyone. The truck creation company has some serious loading to do. Let's burn rubber. That sounds like a great idea. But having a business is more than just saying you're a business. You have to come up with something that other trucks need. Okay, okay, I'm coming. I've only got six wheels. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be great. I wanna make something for the Chuck Creation Company. Me too. Me three. <laughs> <laughs> so what should we make? Oh, I know. No one's ever made a washless wash. A whatless what? Ooh, I got one. A take it anywhere you go garage. Hmm. But how do you take? I always wanted to make a trash smoosher, squisher, crasher. Well, they all sound great, but this is a big decision. After all. Whatever the Chuck Creation Company makes has to be awesome. What if we each built a version of our ideas? That way you can see them in action. Yeah, then we can look at all of them and decide. Great idea! Oh, yeah, see! how much air I can get to blast out of these hoses. Oh, that's probably not enough. And voila! Okay, let's do this. Digger? The Portarage! Portable garage. Portable means no matter where you go, you can bring your casa with you. Come on! This is heavier than I than I thought. The air is strong enough to clean even the dirtiest truck. Oh, ah. 
Trasherator squashes a mountain of garbage into the size of a piece of paper. <laughs> Voila! Is that what it's supposed to do? No, but this is much funnier. <laughs> Someone need a wash? No, no more demonstrations, please. So, so whose idea are we going with? Yeah, Chuck. What should we make for the Chuck Creation Company? Well, let's see. Rowdy, your trasherator. Had a really nice spring load. Yeah. Thanks. And Digger, your portage had the shiniest bolts I've ever seen. See, it did, didn't it? And Boomer, that air? Well, boy, that was some air, wasn't it? Only the best for you, Chuck. The thing is, even though they were all good ideas, none of them worked quite right. And who wants stuff that doesn't work right? Right? Huh? Who wouldn't want Digger's Porterage? It was awesome! And Boomer's Airwash 3000 was genius! And Rowdy's Trasherator? Trasherific! Sorry, guys. How's the company going? Terrible. Looks like the Chuck Creation Company is going out of business before I even figure out what kind of business it is. That's too bad. Couldn't you and your friends think of anything to make? Oh, everyone had ideas. Too many ideas, and none of them worked. I see. Well, part of running a business is figuring out what the people you work with do well and focusing those strengths towards a single goal. There's another truck ready for loading. Thanks for getting that truck ready, Gunter. You're a lifesaver. Like Gunter, for instance, prepping the trucks for me to load. With both of us making the most of our own strengths, we get the job done. Although on days like today, even when we do what we do best, it's still awfully tough. Hmm. So I just need to figure out what my friends, I mean co-workers, do best, then put it all together to make one great product. Exactly. And it should be something that a truck can use. Hmm. Guys, I've been going about this business the wrong way. We're all good at different things, but we can still work together to make one great product. How? We just need to figure out what each of us does best and do that. Let's go! Do the job right. If it doesn't work, we'll fix it. Any day or night, keep trying for the right fit. Oops. Never give up hope, cause if there's a way, we'll find one. Never sit and mope, cause we'll keep on going till it's all done. We put it all together, and now we're in business. In any kind of weather, yes, now. trucks to load all at the same time. That's where the Chuck Creation Company comes in. Introducing the totally awesome Flipper Sorter Separator. Boxes that need to be loaded are put on this platform here. Olé! The flipper sends the deliveries into the air where they land in the sorter. The sorter puts all the small boxes together the medium boxes together, and the big boxes together. Then the boxes go through the tubes and into three different delivery trucks at the same time. So you and Gunter can load up fast by, like, a lot. Wow! You did a fantastic job, buddy. I'm honored to be the Chuck Creation Company's very first customer. I couldn't 
couldn't have done it without the best co-workers ever. Thanks. Thanks, Chuck. Yeah, gracias. I guess the Chuck Creation Company has a lot of work ahead of them making a whole bunch more of these. No, we want you to be the only ones in the world with a flipper sword or separate. After all, we'll never find a better customer. Besides, we're in the business of having fun, Dad, and no one works harder at it than we do. Bumpers up! Friends for the long haul!